Hi, this is Grammy from Grammy and Grandpa Read, and today I have a book for you called The Popcorn Book, and this one is by Tommy D. Paola. He's watching TV, and it says, and now a word from our sponsor. Mom, can we make some popcorn? Yes, the popcorn's in the refrigerator. Yummy. I wonder why Mom keeps the popcorn in the refrigerator. I don't know. I'll look it up. Here it is. Popcorn is best stored in a tight jar in the refrigerator so kernels keep their moisture. Boy, this is interesting. Listen, popcorn is the oldest of the three types of corn. There is field corn, which feed animals like cattle and pigs, sweet corn, which is the kind we eat, and popcorn. Popcorn was discovered by the Indian people in the Americas many thousands of years ago. One of the first sites Columbus saw in the New World was the Indians in San Salvador selling popcorn and wearing it as jewelry. First, I heat up the pan, but popcorn is even older than that. In a bat cave in New Mexico, archeologists found some popcorn that was 5,600 5, years old. Woo, that's old. And a thousand year old, popcorn kernel was found in Peru that could still be popped. Now that's cooking, now the cooking oil, see he's making the popcorn. In 1612, French explorers saw some Iroquois people popping corn in clay pots. They would fill the pots with hot sand, throw in some popcorn and stir it with a stick. When the corn popped, it came to the top of the sand and it was easy to get. The Iroquois people were fond of the popcorn soup. Soup? The Algonquins who came to the first Thanksgiving dinner even brought some popcorn to in deerskins pouches. The colonists liked it so much that they served popcorn for breakfast with cream poured on it. Today, Americans use, um, it looks like five million pounds of popcorn each year. 30% is eaten at movies, circuses, ball games, and county fairs. 10% is saved for seeds and sold to other countries, but 60% is popped right at home. Oh goody, the kernels are popping. That means the oil must be ready. People in the Midwest buy more popcorn than any other part of the United States. Milwaukee and Mil Minneapolis are the top popcorn, popcorn eating cities, followed by Chicago and Seattle. Most of the popcorn is grown in the Midwest too. Now I'll put more kernel, kernels in the pan and turn up the heat. Now here's the part I read first. Popcorn is stored in tight jars in the refrigerator so the kernels keep their moisture. If the kernels dry out, there will be too many old maids left at the bottom of the pan. Old maids are the unpopped kernels. It doesn't look like enough. If the popcorn doesn't does dry out, you can add one or two tablespoons of water to the jar and shake it until the water is absorbed. Popcorn pops because the heart of the kernel is moist and pulpy and surrounded by the hard starch shell. When the kernel is heated, the moisture turns to steam and the heart gets bigger until the shell bursts with a pop. Are you sure you didn't put too much popcorn in that pan? Of course not, silly. The Indian people had a legend that inside each kernel of popcorn lived a little demon. When his house was heated, he got so mad that he blew up. <laughs> Do you see that? That's funny. There are different kinds of popcorn, white holes and yellow hole, or white holeless and yellow holeless are the ones most commonly sold in stores. The smallest type are called strawberry because it has red kernels and the ears look like strawberries. A rainbow has red, white, and yellow and blue kernels. 
it's sometimes called a calico. There is a black popcorn too, but all of it pops white. The biggest kernels called dynamite and snow puff. Shake, shake, shake. After popcorn is popped, most people like to melt butter and salt it. But if, but if salt is put in the pan before the kernels are popped, it makes the popcorn tough. Shake, shake, shake. There are many stories about popcorn. One of the funniest and the best known is from the American Midwest. One summer it was so hot and dry that the, the that all the popcorn in the fields began to pop. In no time, all the sky was filled with flying popcorn. It looked so much like a blizzard that everyone put on mittens and scarves and got out snow shovels. Help, I have a blizzard too. I knew you put too much popcorn in that pan. Okay, if you're so smart, what do we do now? I know. The best thing about popcorn is eating it. <laughs> That's funny. Did you know all those things about popcorn? I didn't. So I hope you learned something new and I hope you can enjoy some popcorn. Um, please subscribe to our channel and like the video.